What's good you guys, welcome back to the channel. Last week I reviewed the foundation shorts by 10,000 and then at the end of that video I gave a little sneak peek of the tech hoodie by 10,000. So that's what I'll be reviewing today. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get right into it. So one of the first things you notice about this hoodie is the color and the way it looks. I think the color is awesome. Um, if they only had like black or gray or whatever, I definitely would not have bought this. But I just love the color so much and you know, I just wanted to see what it was about. I know all their other stuff is like really high quality. So I was really interested to find out what this hoodie was about. Um, another thing is that they offered the pullover. They also have it in a zip form. I'm not a zip hoodie kind of guy, I'm a pullover kind of guy. So that was really cool. So let's talk about the fabric on the outside. Now, it feels really nice. It, it feels, you know how like Cut says their material is like buttery smooth? Like it's like in my opinion, it's really not. Like this right here is pretty buttery smooth. It is really, really like soft and nice on the outside there. Um, the inside of the hood is like that on the outside times 10. It's like extremely soft. It feels like micromodal. If you guys have ever felt that material before, it's like the softest thing ever. And I really wish that they used this material on the inside of the hoodie itself. So the inside of the hoodie, I will show you, is definitely more like tech feeling. It's like a cooler to the touch type of material where the outside is like kind of softer. Um, let's see if it'll focus for you. It almost looks like it might start pilling. I'm not saying it's going to pill, but like that type of material that would where this one on the inside, it's like really, really like, I don't know, smooth and, and dense, definitely more techy. If you look at the drawstrings right here, they each say 10,000 and then they're matching the same color. I think that's awesome. A lot of times they're just like metal, but the fact that they went out and got the exact same silicone to match the hoodie, I love those little kind of details like that. Um, I will obviously try this on, but before I do, just wanna show you a couple more things. This right here, they have a side pocket. I'll show you that when I try it on. And then obviously this is the typical pullover pocket that you would get. And then there also is another zipper right here on this side. Okay, last thing before I try it on, they do have their little symbol right here on the left sleeve cuff. You know, I, if you guys know me, I'm not crazy about something like that, but this, it doesn't kill me, but I'm not crazy about it. I, I probably would take it away if I had the chance but it's not a big deal. Here's the stretch. It's nice and stretchy, it feels high quality for sure. Before I bought this, I actually watched a review video. I think his name is Brock Covington, I wanna say. Um, I would definitely recommend watching his videos too because he has a bunch on the 10,000, all the shorts, and he compares them all and everything, so highly recommend watching his as well. But he said to size down in this, so I actually got a size small. Um, I'm typically a medium, I'm 160 pounds, six feet tall, um, you know, typically wear a medium, but this one he said fit a little bit big, and so I got a small. And you'll see it fits me really nice. It is like a little bit slim, which if you're going for that look with the hoodie, I think you should size down for sure. But, you know, let's try it on and see what you guys think. Okay, so here we go. Go ahead and back up for you. It's nice and slim to the arms. The length is good. Just to show you, like here's the top. And it goes pretty low beneath that. For being a small, like that would be my main concern. Like that's why I typically don't get smalls, is because it the length is never long enough.
Right, I'll show you what the hood looks like. It's one of those hoods. It's like, you know, I prefer it a little bit bigger, but it's not terrible. Nice and stretchy. Make sure you the zipper pockets. It goes right about to here. Same thing on both sides, it's like the exact same size pocket. But I think it looks really nice for a hoodie. Collar's good. I don't like when they're like too like loose right here. So that looks really nice right there. What do you guys think? Pretty, pretty nice. Like I said, the internal here is so, so soft. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't put that everywhere throughout the inside. As you can see, like the length of the sleeves, it's plenty long. You know, when I, you want to go like this, it's good. So sizing down might be the way to go. And then right in here, you know, that's definitely more slim than a typical hoodie for sure right here. I think it like, you know, maybe, I don't want to say like rides up, but if you prefer your hoodies to be baggy, don't size down, I guess. Before I get to the ratings, I do want to say that when I tried this hoodie on for the first time, Nazvi said that this was her absolute favorite hoodie that I had ever tried on. So, you know, she just loved the color. She loved the way that it fit me. And I feel like that says a lot because I've had a lot of hoodies, a lot of pullovers. Um, so for this to be her favorite, I think that says a lot. So I, do, I did want to mention that to you guys, but let's go ahead and get started with the ratings. Okay, first up we have fit. And I feel like this one's a little weird because I typically wear a medium, so it, the fit's off, obviously. Um, but I'm going based on wearing this one, which is a small. So for fit, I'm giving this a 4.9 out of 6. I think it fits really, really well. One thing I will say is that if you size down, it feels like it rides kind of high like in your armpits making it a little bit uncomfortable, which brings me to my next score, which is comfort. And that is getting a 3.1 out of four. I think the materials are super nice. They are comfortable for sure. It's really stretchy. You know, I could see myself wearing this if it gets cold in the garage to work out. Um, you know, overall, definitely comfortable. I do wish they used this material on the inside instead of like the I don't know, like the more like cooling feeling. I like like the softer feel, like the micromodal. So that would have been awesome if they put that in the inside. But it is comfortable, you know. So that gives them a total of 8.0 out of 10. Now let's talk about value. So this thing right here cost 98 bucks, which is very expensive. You know, the only other hoodie that I can think of right now that's more expensive is Cuts, which is 118. And to compare the two, I would say this one probably it feels better, like higher quality, I would say. The Cuts one does feel high quality, but that's just way too high of a price point. This one being 98, it's a little bit better, but still really high. I think it should be more like 65-ish, 70 maybe. So if you can get a coupon and get it for that, I think it would be a good value. Um, so like I said, it does feel really high quality for sure, but it's just really expensive. So for value, I'm giving it a in between mediocre and good. It's definitely one of the nicest hoodies I own, that's for sure, but is it a must buy? No, no, unless you really like this color like I do, like I'm happy I got this. I could justify it, you know, this is, I do this YouTube thing, so I kind of get these things and I justify it for the video. Um, but you know, if it was just black or gray, absolutely not. I would not have gotten this. I do love the color. So, you know, if you have the money and 
you really like this color, I would say go for it. It's really nice. But that's going to wrap this one up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me know what you guys think of this hoodie in the comments. Do you like it? What do you think about the color? Um, definitely subscribe if you have not yet. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you next week with a new one. Later, guys.